Could we be closer to closing the case on the mysterious death of a Gross Point Farms mother of three? Tipsters are coming forward. They definitely are thinking about the case that, you know, whatever they do know, they're trying to get off of their mind. Been less than a month now since Dateline Detroit and Karen focused on the death of Joanne Matuk Romaine. The family says those unwilling to talk in the past are starting to come forward. It's really made a difference, our coverage here. It is a complicated case, but now the family is doing something really unprecedented, offering up $200,000 in reward money in hopes of finding out what happened to their mother. I think that people have been scared for a long time to come forward and I do think that with this reward people might be more open to coming forward. Michelle Romaine is trying something new to solve the death of her mother, offering $200,000 to lure others to come forward in helping her solve the case. And tipsters are starting to respond. Information has been sent to the local four defenders as well as the Romaine family. The feedback that has come in has really just um, solidified what we do believe happened that night. It was just last month Dateline Detroit focused on the death of the 55-year-old Gross Point Woods woman who police say killed herself by walking into Lake St. Clair. Her family believes she was murdered and blames questionable police practices for not being able to officially close the case. There's no sign, no evidence of any kind of violent crime that would warrant a DNA check. We showed a conflicting timeline of events that night Joanne went missing back in January of 2010, as well as evidence that was donated instead of being saved, and keys to Joanne's car that mysteriously reappeared after her disappearance. There's definitely evidence of a cover up here. We've gotten some good feedback um, from the special and some tips that have come in that have been very resourceful at this time. Since the defenders have started digging and the family up the reward, new information is coming in. While we can't share specific details. Tips of witnesses that actually are collaborating with other witnesses and what they saw that night. Um, one particular um, collaborating with Mr. Paul Hawk's statement, which has been useful. Um, moving forward. Meantime, Gross Point residents are now joining in the fight for answers. A group of concerned citizens sent this letter to the Gross Point Woods City Council stating, we implore you to do the right thing. Push for an outside investigation to be opened on the new facts that have come to light. It makes me question why did you wait so long? Um, definitely. But I don't think that the details of the case have been laid out as great as they have in the past year. As for the big increase in reward money now standing at $200,000. We know that there are more people out there that have more critical information. Um, we know that that information that people are holding is frightful. And we want to be able to give them something for the courage to come forward with that information. FBI still won't confirm or deny agents had a meeting with Joanne Matuk Romaine days before she died. Remember, reward is up to 200 grand for information that leads to an arrest in the case. You can call 855-411-LEWIS or send an email to info at scottlewispi.com. We did post all this information as well as a link to our hour special on clickondetroit.com.